Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be your general collective reading for all signs as we experience the second full moon in Aquarius. So it will not be for everyone watching. If it is your story, please comment below and if not, feel free to check my channel for other messages you need to hear. And remember, time, energy, and gender are fluid, so reverse roles however they apply to you. And of course, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel, and tap the notification bell so you don't miss future readings. So, of course, thank you to my new and returning subscribers. You guys are amazing. Thank you for all of your support. And those of you who have purchased private readings, I have had a blast. Keep in mind that the sale for my private readings is going to end on August 31st. So, if you are feeling these readings and you think that this is your story and want to go even further, feel free to still take advantage of the half price discount I'm offering uh, through to the end of August on all of my private readings. If that is you. I look forward to hearing from you. And for those of you who don't already know, all of my details are down in the description box below, all of my social media links, my website, and all of the good stuff. So um, please feel free to connect with me in that way. And so this is going to be your second full moon in Aquarius. So two back-to-back -back full moons with a new moon in Leo and the Lionsgate portal sandwiched in between. So kind of um, a major portal here for releasing things once and for all. So if you are not into the astrology talk slash rant, feel free to check the comments below for a timestamp that will take you straight to the reading. Um, but real quick, guys, those of you who are sticking around, I feel as if this full moon is going to be very important. And we've been talking about this for several months. This time is about to be the culmination of what it is that we've been trying to manifest. So a lot of you have been waiting on certain things and hoping for things and wishing for things and um, doing the work, okay? And so as you know, full moons in general are about release and things coming to culmination. Uh, but with this particular full moon uh, being in Aquarius, which is the sign of free thinkers and revolutionaries, it's going to be really illuminating the things that we uh, don't really need anymore, everything that's not necessary. And we're about to be finding some major closure on something very big. So um, I kind of feel like this full moon's gonna be highlighting major changes, looking at things from a different perspective. And you know, like I said, the Lion's Gate was sandwiched in between these two Aquarius full moons. And I feel like the whole purpose of that lion's gate was to raise our consciousness, um, to download the light codes and things that we were waiting to receive and find the energy and the strength and the courage through Leo season to uh, put our thoughts into action. So Aquarian energy is going to be helping us do that and helping our ideas take flight. So as Leo season is coming to an end, we're really going to get that boost of courage and creativity to help us with the these actions. So for some of you, this is going to be a major point of letting things go, um, moving on and away from things that have kept you stuck and trapped. This could be anything. Um, and think of any sort of blockages that you've allowed to keep you trapped. So, I mean, this can be fear, shame, guilt, like insecurities, um, feeling as if you can't be honest about your feelings or communicate things, um, not being open to seeing the truth of the matter and not allowing yourself to connect to the source. So think of all of your chakras being blocked. Okay, that's a muddy and, and shitty feeling for me at least. And so when I'm feeling those negative emotions um, during the time of a full moon, this is going to be that time for you to really focus on what you've been allowing to continue and go on. And this Aquarian energy is going to allow you to have that light bulb moment where you say, okay, I'm acknowledging what needs to change. And now I'm going to actually put those changes into action for the good of not only myself, but also the collective. And so as long as you're willing to acknowledge those things and, and you're willing to release them, then you'll finally be able to have your arms open to accept the blessings that you've been trying to call in, okay? So let's get into it. I'm really excited. I'm going to pull from the Moonology deck as I usually do first. 
And so feel free to comment below if there's anything particular that you feel that's being highlighted for you right now during this time. Um, anything that you feel that has been keeping you stuck, especially if it's happening internally. And also, guys, Aquarians are... Uh, that's the energy that kind of rules over global changes as well. So expect to see things like that happening on a more worldly level. Let's get one more good shuffle and see what we have for the collective. All right, so what is the general energy for the collective? Be bold and make the first move, cardinal moon. So if you're a cardinal sign, this might resonate for you. Uh, this is that energy of taking a chance, being courageous, that boost I was talking about. So use the energy of Leo season ending like a giant wave that's about to crest on the shore of the magical life that you've been manifesting, whatever it is that you've been trying to call in, right? This is that last leap that needs to be taken in order for you to, like I said, get that closure or find that release that you've been looking for. Um, and for some of you, you know, you may not want to be the one to make that move, but again, all changes that happen internally end up reflecting in your external environment. So this could even be a really small change that you've been hesitant to make. Whatever it is for you, the card at the bottom of the deck is, your commitment is being tested first quarter moon. So um, this is the energy of mid new moon to full moon. So think back to how you were feeling between your uh, new moon energy with that Leo new moon, that powerful Lionsgate energy that you might have been feeling. And then think of how the energy started to dissipate and perhaps the things that have started to creep up in your mind, doubts, fears, um, you know, that negative self-talk maybe telling you that what, whatever it is you're wanting to call in isn't possible for whatever reason. So as the energy builds to a full moon, there may be those shadow parts that pop up and really make you question the direction you're heading. Okay, your commitment is being tested. So a lot of you have to sit down and ask yourselves, like, what is it that I really want? I love all this purple and pink energy, by the way. Um, what is it that you really want? And are you committed enough to actually go after it and, and have it and manifest it? So I kind of feel this energy of, and, you know, Aquarius is also ruled by Saturn. So I feel like, the energy here is about responsibility, taking responsibility for yourself, your actions, and like I said, how you've maybe been holding yourself back and releasing those things so that you can finally get what it is that you've been asking for. But it's that it's that energy of like, don't give up in the last minute, right? Don't give up in the midnight hour. Some of you, you've been waiting a really long time for this manifestation to come in and... <sighs> you might feel like giving up for whatever reason. And so if that's you, then I think Spirit's reminding you that um, these trials that you're facing, it's, it's testing you, okay? This is all a test. Because if you're sending the energy out into the universe, that mixed signal energy we've been discussing for the past couple of weeks, then you're only slowing yourself down, okay? The universe is going to conspire to your every wish, but if you're sending the waves to the universe, then expect those things to manifest um, in ways that you didn't expect, okay? So the ripple effect, essentially. So let's see what we've got. Um, I really was drawn to the Muse Tarot today. And I just felt like this was the one, you guys. This was the one that we were going to use and I felt like there was a really important message in there. So let's get a couple of shuffles in. And we'll see what the message is for the collective. So let's see what's going on in general. So you have the Wheel of Fortune, ending of cycles, 
realizing one's destiny, taking a chance, and expecting good fortune. I kind of feel like this is a major trusting of the universe type energy. But the wheel is tricky, right? It constantly turns. And as you can see, sometimes you can be on the top and having the, the luckiest day and having the best time of your life. And and sooner or later, you could be on the bottom, struggling to, to move forward. So the wheel is is reminding us, I think, that at any point in time, our luck can change. But there are destined events, faded events, things that we're meant to do here. And I think that spirit is telling you it's time for you to take control of the wheel. Okay, Jesus, take the wheel. I think it's time for some of you to take control of the wheel and remember that you were destined for greatness here. You are destined to be um, on this higher path. So let's elaborate on that wheel energy for the current situation. So you have the 10 of materials. So for a lot of you, this has to do with building a legacy, um, creating stability and wealth long-term committed connections and i see this as success you know all of these people are rejoicing around this tree of roses and it's really beautiful right this is long term this is something that's been worked on for a while they're celebrating it because it's special it is it's everything so the ten of pentacles it is everything right um a lot of you could be trying to manifest a long-term commitment with someone. Um, for some of you, you are, again, just really concerned with family right now and the legacy that you're going to leave. So talking about forward thinking and changes, um, this could be a lot of you getting serious about... Um, about building a future okay so instead of maybe just spinning the wheel and trying your luck I think some of you are really taking control of your destiny and you are making things happen and and learning uh, what it's gonna take for you to grow and make this stable life okay so let's see what else we have for the present situation any elaboration here And you know what, for some of you, I just heard with the ending of a cycle, for some of you, this could even be the ending of a long-term connection. Um, so whichever storyline you are, you will know. So you also have the Hierophant, and this is about marriage, spiritual beliefs, and, um, and being aligned with your divine energy, okay? The Hierophant is commitment and dedication. So for some of you, this has been quite a journey and you've been committed to your growth. Um, this is also divine masculine energy. I kind of feel like someone's really stepping up in their power, realizing just how powerful they really are. You can see too this um, statue, what it looks like a statue and this person down here is admiring the statue. So for some of you, um, this could be a connection that maybe you've put on a pedestal, wanting commitment from someone. Some of you can actually be married, okay? This could be you and um, talking about your marriage. Maybe one partner kind of felt like the other one was, I don't know, better than the other one for some reason. I feel this idolization energy. So for some of you, um, there's someone that you really idolize that is someone you really want to be in a dedicated and committed connection with. You're wanting to build a future with that person. And like I said, for some of you, that's going to take you ending some sort of cycle and taking control and actually um, taking action towards that manifestation. Okay, so let's see what's coming. Oh, no. Okay, so first of all, we have the Ten of Cups. So for a lot of you, this is more than just family and legacy and wealth. This is actually your end game. This is your emotional fulfillment and happy ending. For some of you, you've been waiting to reunite with someone and 
this card is saying that that reuniting energy is coming for you. Uh, I think that this is more about the things that make you truly happy and fulfilled. And as you can see, we've got these um, images of people dancing down here and all of this joy and and happy energy of pure love is, is floating up here. I just feel like the curtain is being pulled back and some of you are understanding exactly what's going to make you emotionally fulfilled. So we also have the two of materials and the magician. So the magician is important here. Um, this came up, I believe, in the last reading. So as you can see, she's making magic happen. She's manipulating all of the elements and all of the tools that she has and the knowledge and the wisdom of the universe. And she is taking conscious action towards something new. So for a lot of you, again, maybe you've been focusing so hard on the material and maybe again, some of you have had someone on a pedestal, uh, maybe in a marriage or a commitment, or again, some of you wanting this commitment with someone, for some of you wanting a commitment with someone who's already married. Um, but what I'm seeing here is someone taking inspired action and creating change in their lives. So, you know, with the two of materials also talking about changes being made, I feel as if this is the dance of change. It's like this happens all the time, right? Changes are constantly happening in our universe, and that's why the infinity symbol is a big archetype having to do with the two of materials. It goes on and on, my friend. Like, as long as you live, you're going to be changing, okay? If one thing is constant, it is change. So this is someone... I feel making the best of those changes and doing what it takes to kind of dance through it. So for some of you, there are some difficult changes up ahead that are going to be really uncomfortable for you, but I feel like these changes are going to set you free. Okay. So whatever needs changing, only you will know. And I'm sorry if the messages seem kind of scattered, but um, obviously this reading could be for several different people. So so yeah, I feel that there are changes coming and someone really taking control over how those changes are going to play out in their universe. So let's see what else we have from, wow, so justice on the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, maybe you've been waiting on receiving your justice or maybe things weren't fair in the past and you're just wondering when things are going to be set right or going to be balanced. Um, others of you, you could be getting a divorce or separating from a karmic partner um, or going through some legal issues, but I see justice as balance. And I feel like that's what a lot of you have craved. Um, maybe there was an issue where like the wheel, it was just kind of constantly turning and turning. And some of you were maybe getting a little bit dizzy, okay? Maybe you were focusing on the wrong things, but now I think that justice is about to come in for you. We were talking about that culmination happening during the second full moon in Aquarius, starting to see the manifestations coming into the physical. So um, maybe some of you with this full moon energy, things will be revealed um, or you'll receive some news regarding some justice playing out in your life. Okay, so let's keep shuffling and see what else we have. I kind of like this energy of three. Let's see what else we have. So you've got the emperor. Interesting. Let's get two more. Let's clarify that. We have the ace of materials, the ace of pentacles. And one more, please. The knight of voices. I feel like someone handed that to me because that card didn't even look like it was the one that was going to come out. And somehow it flipped over. So... I feel like someone needs to hear this message. So with the Emperor, this is Divine Masculine. I love this card. I love that um, she's standing there and she's admiring her own power. Uh, this is someone who is in complete control. So for a lot of you, you will be gaining control over whatever this is for you. For some of you, this could be your Divine Masculine showing up. For some of you, this could be you understanding that your actions and everything that you've manifested has come into fruition because you made it so. 
So this is a recognition of power and also control. Divine masculine energy um, acts and reacts to their environment. So I love how the mountains are back here. And we've got lots of different people walking on this road. So this signifies change for me. Kind of see this as this person right here, but as different versions of themselves. So as you're going along on this journey, whoever this emperor represents to you, this is going to be an acknowledgement of power, of accomplishment, of, of just in general, someone who is in control. Um, and with the ace of materials, I feel too, this is some sort of a proposal, a commitment, uh, a symbol of dedication and for some of you, this could be an actual proposal of marriage or um, someone asking you to be theirs. This could also be a business proposal or starting a new adventure um, when it comes to finances, okay? So whoever you are, I think that the Ace of Materials coming is very promising. Uh, this is something like the seed that's planted that's going to grow into what you want. So... You know, never stop planting the seeds for your future. And if you feel like you've been trying to manifest something, again, don't give up in the last, in the midnight hour. I kind of feel like for some of you, that's exactly what this is symbolizing. You're taking control over your own life. You're making things happen. You're making the changes, however difficult they might be. And you are starting to align with the vibration of what you're trying to call in. So the emperor, however the emperor shows up into your life, this is going to be a promising new beginning. And with the night of voices showing up, expect a message, expect a phone call, expect news. And for some of you, this is going to be the clarity that you've been waiting for. Some of you are going to get answers to something that you've been maybe wondering about. Something's going to be made very clear. And for some of you, that message might sting a little bit. The, the Knight of Swords is very blunt, very honest. So I'm seeing like, okay, so I'm seeing like the scene, um, I don't even know what movie it's from, but you know, where the woman walks up to the man in the bed and she slaps him awake. Like for some of you, this might be very shocking news or something you didn't expect. But with this Pegasus coming in and the foreshadowing of the sun, um, I love all of the different colored flags down here too. I feel like whatever's coming in for a landing for you, this is going to bring about positive change. So maybe it might be some difficult news or a hard pill to swallow or some truth that you weren't expecting or maybe you never expected to finally receive. And again, some of you might be waiting on this, but it's going to bring out positive changes. So let's get some clarity even further. So I kind of feel like I would like to know a little bit about more of um, this Ten of Materials and Hierophant and Wheel Energy. So let's get some clarity on those themes. Ten of Wands. So, you know, once more, this is someone who has been working really hard, doing the work, but not just for themselves, for others. So this is a self-imposed burden that needs to be put down. And the Ten of Wands signifies an ending of a cycle. So another 10 here. I really think that for some of you, you've been overworking yourselves and you're starting to realize that it's not all about the money okay it's not all about the materials quote unquote um, and I love that this deck calls the pentacles materials so maybe again some of you have been putting someone on a pedestal that didn't deserve to be there and this is spirit telling you that the next stage is you putting that shit down it's time for you to um, let go of that energy so that you can begin to start a new cycle. Some of you are going to be realizing that, you know, maybe you thought you had everything, but what you really were lacking in life was true love, was was actual happiness, fulfillment. Um, for some of you, this could even be someone who really wants to have kids, okay? So let's get some clarity on that Ten of Cups, the Magician, and the Two of Materials. Two of Swords, interesting. So for some of you, this could represent someone who, and this could be you or maybe a person you're thinking about, someone who's been really indecisive. And instead of uh, making any decisions or communicating, they've kind of buried their head in the sand. So 
when I think of that ostrich energy, you know, burying your head in the sand doesn't necessarily mean you can't be seen. You're trying to avoid um, embarrassment or whatever it is you're trying to avoid, you can't really escape that. And that's what you're being shown. Like the longer you were indecisive about the direction you wanted to go, the longer your manifestations will evade you essentially. So realizing where you have maybe been um, just kind of letting things happen and and now seeing that really all you've needed to do was take control of your own destiny take control of your actions and start manifesting the changes that have been necessary all along okay and so let's clarify the emperor ace of materials and knight of voices Aye. so wow fool six of wands but I'm more interested in the card that actually popped out before all of the other cards spilled out. So let me get organized here real quick. So the, the card that popped out is the Ace of Swords. So what did I say? This is all about truth and clarity. This is someone, maybe a message coming in. This could also be a message from the divine. So pay attention to your dreams, uh, visions, things like that. But major truth and clarity is about to be at your door okay so for whoever this is resonating with um again maybe you've been expecting this call this message this news and it might be the type where you feel like you got slapped in the face but again it's going to bring about that positive change we were talking about so let's take a peek at what's underneath the decks here so we've got the five of five of wands and we have the five of swords. So two fives signifying major change, which is what we were just talking about. So kind of feel like this, this card here is similar to that emperor energy where there's an evolution of the same person. So different versions of this one woman, right? Looking through different, um, different openings at the same blue sky. So Five of Wands to me is someone who is conflicted and this could be an energy of, you know, anger and aggression. So some of you may have been really frustrated with yourselves um, or with another person. Maybe this involves some sort of arguments that you've had with others or just essentially talking about your spiritual growth, okay? Uh, I feel like for some of you that you have felt that you've been holding yourselves back, I think it's all been about your spiritual growth and becoming a better version of yourself. I think some of you needed these lessons in order to truly be the best version of you. So let's talk about the Five of Swords, which is petty arguments, conflict, misunderstandings, a feeling of needing to one-up or win at all costs. But it can also be the energy of needing to clear the air. So, you know, for some of you, this news, this could bring in many different things, okay? Um, for some of you, there may need to be some tough conversations that need to be had. Um, for some of you, this could even signify talking about the past. Maybe the past needs to be brought up so that closure can happen. And um, for some of you, this conversation that could be coming your way could literally be the intention to clear the air and to clear away any misunderstandings or confusion from the past. So whatever this might be, expect there to be um, some clearing away of conflict. And like I said, these tough conversations might be what need to happen in order for this sun to come out, okay? Um, so let's take a look at what might be blocking you at this time or what is the general challenging energy. Let's see what we have from the Elemental Oracle. I really am feeling these cards, you guys. So colorful. I love this deck. I love all of my decks. Okay, so what is the challenging energy that's going to be surrounding this full moon in Aquarius? As we end Leo season and begin Virgo season, I love how it just like landed so gracefully on top of the Five of Swords. So when I see hearth, and look at that, there's a baby, a fireplace, a dog. This is so 
This is so comforting. I feel like this is what a lot of you have been wanting, to start a family, um, being around the hearth with your family, that comforting feeling of being around those that you love and you trust. This is very Ten of Cups, okay? For a lot of you, this is the challenge, Perhaps a lot of you are going to be challenged to come out of your comfort zone, okay? In order to achieve what it is that you really want. And look, we have the number 11 up here, okay? For some of you, in order to get what you want, you're going to have to step out of your comfort zone, which takes me back to the whole be bold and make the first move. So a lot of you might be saying to yourself, why the hell am I the one that needs to make the first move? Again, a lot of these things could be talking about internally. Maybe the first move could be simple. It could be just you letting go of a limiting belief, uh, letting go of fears, doubts, things that are making you feel like this Ten of Cups is not possible or that you don't deserve it for some reason. Um, this could all be within you. In order for you to manifest your desires, some sort of change needs to happen within, okay? And bottom of the deck, I've got passion, the soul. Oh my God. So look at all these butterflies. And I love how her eye looks like the earth and there's this waterfall coming down. Just kind of makes me think the soul is eternal, okay? It is never ending. It's everlasting. The universe is, is limitless so many ways for us to grow and transform um it, it's just endless and it's it's a miracle really and even though we're going through such insanely harsh crazy tragic fucking times right now you guys i think that spirit is trying to remind you that that regardless of what's going on in the world as a whole you are a soul in a body okay don't forget your passions don't forget why it is that you're here on this earth okay and my nose is starting to itch like crazy so for some of you you could be watching this reading and thinking about someone that you are connected with um, in a soul connection okay and I think with all of these butterflies here it's really signifying major change and transformation happening for the benefit of your soul connection okay um, <clears throat> I also love how there's a little dragonfly that snuck up in here and I absolutely love dragonflies they they are um, representative of being lucky in love, okay? And so, again, for some of you, this could be about a soul connection. And I think Spirit's telling you, like, do not give up on your passion. If you feel divinely guided and connected to this person, and maybe you've been waiting on the truth for a long time, and you just haven't gotten anything from this person then maybe Spirit's trying to tell you the reason you're not getting anything from this person is because there are still changes and transformations that you need to allow to happen, okay? Um, very interesting. And I did get a peek at the bottom of the deck again. Uh, we've got power and volcano energy. So for some of you, this Leo, this fire energy is going to be what is going to kickstart that, um, that new and fresh perspective for you. Remember to stay in your power, you guys. Shine your lights. This is Aquarian energy. We talk about the age of Aquarius and forward thinking and raising our levels of consciousness. Now is the time for you to remember just how powerful you are so again that magician energy has been really carrying us through um, since the Aquarius full moon in July so uh, I'm going to end the reading and get some moon oracle energy and see what spirits advice is these cards are acting crazy so we've got altar anything else from this deck one more shuffle Ooh. And we have a mystery card on the floor. Oh, so we have manipulation. So I think when I see manipulation coming up as the advice, I take this as a warning, okay? For some of you, um, there may be people in your environment that try to manipulate you or try to make you feel a certain type of way. Um, don't fall for that, okay? Don't allow... Don't even allow yourself to manipulate yourself. And those of you who know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Don't allow the negative self-talk 
at this time when the energy of the full moon is at its peak where you're feeling emotional and vulnerable don't allow your negative talk or your mind to manipulate you into straying from these passions okay don't allow yourself to be manipulated by any sort of energy or person because when you know what it is that you truly want and what makes you happy then you have to go for it period don't allow yourself to be manipulated back into the shadows okay and so we also have altar and I do want to read from the book um, because this is a mansion card and I find those cards to have good excerpts here so I love how this is Virgo energy too and we are approaching Virgo season so the key phrase in this card is fulfilling the expectations of others so let me stop right there because I feel like um with the card of manipulation coming up with that card, I feel like spirit is really warning a lot of you, okay? Um, warning a lot of you right now because I think that this is basically saying do not allow yourself to fall for other people's manipulations and games. Okay, this ten of wands, this energy of working for others or doing for others and, and taking on the burden of other people, stop allowing yourself to do that because you're just going to repeat a major karmic cycle, okay? Um, let's continue. And maybe for some of you, for some of you, this conversation could be about this. So for some of you, you might get news that um, someone has been manipulated for a while, that has been maybe putting on a show or kind of doing that ten of wands, carrying all of their burdens and not allowing themselves to be free because of others. So it says here... Um, in the orderly and precise sign of Virgo, the conjunction of Mercury and Saturn indicates a conventional outlook. They signify that the status quo is to be maintained at all costs. Saturn indicates concern about what others think. This old, respectable planet lends a serious and pessimistic bias to positive mercurial thought. The altar represents thinking that has become a ritual and a habit. Although the atmosphere of this mansion is negative, the small pink clouds indicate that there is positive potential and hope to be gained from the currently gloomy situation. You simply have not noticed it yet. Drawing this card also indicates that you are being forced to behave in a way that others expect. So, like I said, for some of you, this news that's coming in could be someone... Um, acknowledging where they've allowed themselves to be manipulated in the past acknowledging where um and, and again this could be a self-acknowledgement understanding where you've actually talked yourself out of getting what you want because you're trying to conform or comply with what others think so for some of you the be bold and make the first move could just simply be you allowing yourself to go after your highest truth and not allow the opinions of others to manipulate you into thinking that you don't deserve it or that it's not possible okay and so we talked about the whole um harsh message may be coming in but the pink clouds are also signifying that from this is going to come positive energy or a happy sort of optimistic outlook so maybe for some of you this manipulation and this energy of conforming to others needed to happen for you or for this person whoever this is about this needed to happen in order for things to evolve and grow to the level of, of what they needed to be, okay? So for some of you that are trying to call in an emperor right now, for some of you who have been really waiting on a manifestation to come in, remember that in order to call in something that we want, we need to be at the vibration of what we want. And so uh, whether these changes need to be made within you or are happening within someone else, whoever you are watching this reading, hopefully it resonated on some level. I know it was a little bit scattered, but um, again, I kind of feel like there were a lot of different messages coming in. And um, yeah, so uh, I love you guys so much. I'm so excited. We are moving into Virgo season. I'm going to be posting Virgo season Zodiac readings pretty soon as well. And um, at the start of September, I'm going to be launching my 
spicy subscriber society. So if you are interested in the more salacious readings, look forward to the uh, members only area coming your way. Um, yes, yeah, so many great things coming to you guys. I'm so excited. Um, I love you so much. I'm not doing a giveaway on this video. I'm going to actually wait until uh, the Virgo season videos have been put out and do the giveaway at the next full moon. So anyways, you guys, I love you so much and thank you for joining me on this reading and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye.